Hi Capricorn, it's Tuesday. We're going to do your reading. So this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's general. As you know, it cannot, will not resonate for everyone. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. The roles could be reversed or intermingle, flip-flop around. I do not do personals. I do almost personals. Those will be linked down below. They are very detailed and a fraction of the price. Um, I'm doing a major giveaway. Lots of crystal bracelets. Tons of crystal bracelets. Uh, one of these candles that you guys love. This one's almost out. And the wind chimes and a $100 gift card. All you have to do is leave comments and be a subscriber. Did, did y'all see that? This is my crazy possessed candles. But anyway, this is one of the prizes. So leave lots of comments, the more the better. Let's get started. This is just pre-shuffle, but it looks like there's a lot of deep thought about, um, I'm also getting walking away, but then we have also, I'm going to lots of twos and lots of fours. So here's the four of wands, four of cups. This is lost or missed opportunity, maybe, um, disinterest, but I think that's turning around. We have the strength card. These are all, um, multiples of two. See that two, four, four, eight. Interesting. Two, four, four, eight. Okay. Anyway, those numbers might be relevant or important to you. So the world card is a cycle completion. It usually is growth. It's a beautiful thing. I think somebody, oh, it looks like somebody walked away, but um, is having second thoughts, deep in thought. Uh, I'm gonna gotta figure out that, that uh, strength card. But anyway, that was just pre-shuffle, so we'll see. We'll see. How are you? I hope you're well. Hope you guys are praying for each other pray for you every day. All right, let's get started. What is going on with Capricorn? The tower. Interesting. Your energy is the tower. You know, coming undone is what I kind of feel. Um, something came crashing down. I'm going to peek at these, but I'm not going to take them. The emperor in reverse and the chariot. Yeah, something someone ended or left. I keep feeling Eight of Cups, like walked away. But I don't feel like that's the final. I don't feel like it's final. Wow, that was meant to come out, wasn't it? <laughs> I just put that back and there it is. So Cancer Energy. So here we have some big, you know, explosion or disruption, something unexpected. And um, the overall energy of the of the overall, you know, is the, the chariot. So forward motion could be travel. Eight of swords. So somebody, oh goodness, lost in thought, deep in thought, um, circling that loop, can't move away from, uh, you know, uh, being caught in thought, overthinking. It's a mental mind game. Okay. King of Pentacles, how they view you. They see you as successful, stable. Well, you have them fooled, huh? Just kidding. There's that leaving a difficult situation. How they see, how they view the situation, the Six of Swords, that's ending or leaving. Okay, so something that was taking a long time, this Knight of Pentacles, this is their next move. It's in reverse. So the Knight of Pentacles is slow, slow moving. Um, so we're, we'll clarify. What you cannot see is the magician. Things are happening behind the scenes. Wow, Tarot's advice, four of wands, that's a stable foundation. So Tarot's advice is to build things stable. Um, I know some of you are probably thinking twin flame could be, but I'm not seeing a lot of it here. It doesn't mean it is or isn't. If you are stuck in a twin flame, definitely check out the links below. Those are crazy um, detailed. They go into the twin flame journey, look for signs of twin flame, what they would say if they had no ego. It's just they're really detailed. And the outcome, nine of pentacles. So it looks like you're becoming wealthy. <laughs> I mean, we've got two indications of you being successful and financially successful. Oh, there might have been some ego here. Look at this. The bottom of the deck, we have the moon, but then came the Ten of Swords, so painful ending. And the moon is like mystery, unknown, something hidden. So there might be some confusion of why this ended. Let's get a little more. Tell me about the recent past. 
for Capricorn. Wow, looks like a return or somebody thinking a lot about of the past could be children, but it's like, could be childhood memories, but it's a very, this is one of my favorite cards in tarot, Six of Cups, beautiful energy. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's thinking about these fond memories, but sadness around it. It's a, it's a feeling of loss. I lost something. I lost my family. I lost um, things that were, you know, precious to me. So there you are, showing up in your own reading. Capricorn energy, the devil, not letting go. Um, this guy is so, like, seductive looking. He's like, come here. Right? Look at his hair. He's like, take my hand. Let me show you the way. Okay, so Emperor in reverse. I, you know, somebody might be having to let go of some control. Because that's the second time we got that Emperor in reverse. Cl truth, clarity, I like, always like that. And there's the world. Wow, clear reading. So somebody is learning that um, they lost something that they want, something of value. And this is an energy of, I'm not going to let go. But then it's also, there's a lot of kind of, you know, control freak energy here. But this, um, maybe that was the past. Somebody was controlling. I mean, this together is typically not good. <laughs> the, <laughs> the devil energy, you know, and the emperor in reverse. This is, this is, so either this person has realized it or you have realized it. You've had truth and clarity in the cycle is ending. So, I don't know, it was kind of, oh, it was a big awakening realizing this. I kind of feel like it's that mode coming back. There's a cycle ending. Let's see if we can get more. Tell me what's, give me more on this outcome. You're definitely figuring some stuff out. Six of Pentacles, that's generosity. Again, there's a, maybe somebody was after money. Ten of Pentacles, look at this. You know, or feeling like money would solve all the problems. But two indications of family. Generosity, somebody needs to give more. Let's see, what else on this outcome? Oh, actually, what's going on with this moon card? The moon card. Thank you. Okay, passionate new beginning. Ace of Wands. Um, somebody may have. There's a new beginning. Also, the fool. Somebody may have gotten letting. Uh, let letting letting. That's not the word. Let passion get to the get the best of them and. Um, More on that, Ten of Swords. Hmm. Queen of Wands, Passion again. What is this moon card? Tell me more. Okay, so there was some player energy. At the, there's the Queen of Wands again. It won't let me go. It won't leave me alone, so... Yeah, uh, maybe some immature energy in one area, but some, you know, really stable and financially stable in another. But it looks like the secret came out. There was um, some passion, maybe some player energy. Queen of Wands. Knight of Wands. So it could be an, a, a karmic, but there's some, you know, drama and passion. Mm, just, I think, bad decisions. Tell me about this devil and this emperor in reverse. What's going on with that? Yeah, okay, so nobody, somebody's not letting go. This person is not letting you go, and I get, I'm getting a ton of twos. So you guys keep your eye out for 222 and 444. What direction is this going? Ace of Cups. Ooh, yeah. I, you may have somebody new coming in also, but this person is full of regret, and they want to come back. 
this whoever this emperor devil is. Yeah, they want a rebirth. They want a reconciliation. They're going to come back and try again. Hopefully, you're not going to let somebody back. So here's what I don't. Here, here's what was coming to me earlier. You know, sometimes we get into this. I'm going to pull a tar, uh, oracle real quick. But sometimes we get into this um, situation. I don't have everything organized right now. Where we. Um, like we don't let go of somebody, somebody fully. We want them even though they've wronged us. Sometimes that can even become a habit. But what will happen is, I think if we let them back too easily and we don't resolve the issue and feel secure or feel, you know, like they feel justified in why we feel hurt or they it was brushed under the rug somehow. We'll, sometimes what we'll do, and this is what I don't want you to do, is sometimes we will let that person come back, but the, the, the negative energy or the hurt is not resolved. So we hang on to it. Now, if it gets worked out, you got to let it go if you're going to take this person back, right? You can't have both. You can't, you know, accept their apology and their sincere willingness to try. You can't accept that and then let it hang it over their head forever. You gotta choose one or the other. But sometimes what happens, and this might be why this is kind of confusing, is sometimes what happens is we keep wanting them and we keep, and maybe we let them back too easily. And the roles could be reversed. So this could be what your person's going through too. So you might need to reverse the roles. But then if we do let them go too easily, there's that resentment that's harbored and it's always there underlying and we're always like rid of kind of a little bit rigid and stiff and not we end up not being able to be ourselves when we're with that person so you know really there's some things that can help with that is of course communication to you know let them know that you're struggling with that and you just want to work it out so you can you know put it behind you and let it go also what helps me a lot with resentment and and in everything what helps me this helps me with everything is heart chakra when I work on, when I, my heart chakra opens, it seems like everything gets better. Nothing seems quite as bad. Okay, so I accept everything happens in divine order. I love that. I think there's some kind of resentment or obsession about something that is tying somebody. So either you need to let this person go it mentally. If, you're, if it's over, let it go mentally right? If it's not over, get to resolution with what's bothering you and then let it go. You can't do you, you somebody may be hanging on to what happened, but still trying to move on in those two things. There's it's causing conflict, but somebody is, I do feel like somebody is realizing what they did and they're sorry. Of course, I mean, that's every situation is different. So that's, you know, you, you, you have to be the one to you know, feel good about that. I can't, I, you know, it, you have to be the one responsible for not letting that be brushed under the rug. You can't hold it against them if you let it be brushed under the rug. You are responsible for your, what your, your own needs, right? And communicating those needs. Um, see, isn't that interesting? I, and I just said heart chakra would be good. So when you open your heart chakra, it's like, everything kind of feels more loving and this look at this i commit to the practice of seeing good in all things you'll just see things differently things feel differently wow another one about love i know that there is no greater goal than to love unbelievable i love this reading okay um let me grab one more cute little deck i wanted to use I can find it. There it is, Divine Doors. I need to get out some of those romance, like romance angel oracles. Okay, so this is Divine Doors. Some of you may have a blue door. I'm also, and I got this in another reading, red socks or red boots, like bright red. Okay, so which door will you go through? Here's, whoa, oh my goodness. Change beckons. The path is shifting, the road leads a new way, but do not be alarmed as change beckons today. I'm also gonna pull a card to see what you're manifesting, whether you know it or not. So we manifest what we think about, we bring about, right? So I'm gonna pull a card on that too. Okay, so look how pretty these are. 
divine doors. So a stranger's grace, ego fears the sudden danger, but never underestimate the kindness of a stranger. Healing heart, mourning now has had its time. Do not pay it a single dime. Emerge from the darkness, a new day starts. Let lice and let light lice. So, so many have lice. <laughs> let light embrace the healing heart. Okay, let me grab and um, let me see what you guys are manifesting. Uh oh, where is it? I don't know if this is the deck I was going to use. I'm starting something new. I don't know which deck I'm supposed to use for that. Shoot. Okay, well, sorry, I have to get that together for next time. Maybe that this will be the right deck. Let's see. Maybe you're manifesting patience. Did we have that twice? Yeah, oh my gosh, look at this. Wow. Wow, wow. Isn't tarot freaking amazing? <sighs> okay, so... I am patient knowing that whatever is of the highest good is coming to me. So that's what you're manifesting, maybe. That's beautiful. Working on your patience. Keep telling spirit that's what you want. Bring me patience and understanding and love. And to work on your heart chakra, um, you can listen to binaural beats. And you can, you know, meditate and, and visualize breathing love in from the universe, all in through, from all over the universe and then breathing it back out so it's a constant flow flowing through you. You don't want to be closed off and rigid to love, okay? I love you guys. Speaking of love, let me know in the comments. I'm curious. And I hope this was helpful. Please let me know. I'll see you soon. Bye, Capricorn.